Let's take a look at the basic navigation within Dynamics GP. There are several ways that you can use to navigate through the system. And what you want to do is find the best one, the one that works best for you. So let's take a look at a couple of them. The basic menu navigation is at the top. Across the top here you see transactions, inquiry, reports, and cards. These are different types of actions you can take within the system. Cards is merely the master file data in your system. If I go to cards, I can see different areas within the system, different modules if you will. Let's go to purchasing and then within purchasing I have different master files that are set up in that system. For example, the vendor maintenance screen. I can open that up, I can enter new vendors, I can edit existing vendors. Likewise, if I had a report, I did look at the reports here, I've got different areas in the system that have reports. I could go to purchasing and then go to specific reports within the system, for example, trial balance. It opens up a dialog box that allows me to print a payables tri trial balance report. Likewise, inquiry and transactions are set up exactly the same way. I've got the series and then individual transactions within that series. Another way to navigate within the system is called using the area pages here. Along the left hand side you see different bars here. These are different area pages. If I click on purchasing it's going to open up everything having to do with purchasing in my system. Now what I can do is once I'm in that purchasing area page I can select a vendor, open up that vendor master file. It's the same screen we just looked at. I can also have access to all the different transactions whether purchase order transactions or payables transactions. They're all right here. I also have access to the utilities within the system, to the setups, also all the reports and inquiry screens are right here in one view of that particular system. And as you can see, I have area pages for different areas within GP, including financial, sales, administration, inventory. You also have the ability to make up your own menu by using the shortcuts. Over in the upper left hand side here, I have an area called shortcuts. And what I can do is I can create my own menu system. So for example here, I've got a payables folder that I created. And within that, I added two screens. Let's do a simple one here. I'm going to right click on home. I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to call that folder receivables. And what I want to do is I want to add some windows within that receivables. I'm going to add the customer maintenance file. So to do that, I'll right click again. I'm going to add, and then I'm going to add a window. That will bring up this dialog box here. I'm going to scroll down to Microsoft Dynamics GP. I'm going to go into the sales area, and then I'm going to look for the customer maintenance screen. And I just passed it. There it is right there. I'm going to select that. It will fill in the name for me. I can change the name if I want to. And I'm just going to add that and I'm done. Now if I go back here you can see that I still have my folder. Now if I open that folder I've got the customer maintenance screen. I'll select that and it will bring up that screen. This is another way that you can customize or personalize Dynamics GP to make it easy for you to do your job. There are other ways to navigate, but these are just three of the most common. Again, you should select one that makes the most sense to you and that one that will be of the best use for you. So please go ahead, try out the different ones, and then select one that you'd like.